Hi there, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Sagittarius. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, as well as a cross watcher of the Sag. Something fell. Ooh, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. <sighs> There's a lot of heart healing here that needs to happen. A lot of forgiving. Forgiving people that may not be sorry. This is a lot of forgiving yourself. It's holding someone back from something. You know what I mean? It's like a block. This thing that keeps you angry. This thing that keeps you bitter or something, you know? And it's you or the other person. There's a sense of letting go. This is the thing about forgiveness. It's not about forgiving people because they are sorry and because you know it's like sometimes they're not sorry most times they're not sorry it's about forgiving because it no longer deserves a space in our mind and hearts and also it's because not everybody is perfect and a lot of times we fuck up and is it a case of that did they do it maliciously or is it just a case of like this person just didn't know better. They didn't know that that was going to hurt your feelings. Eight of Swords. See, it's mental entrapment. It's someone not letting something go here. And what's funny is that, you know, this is my, I forgot to say it in the beginning. This is the intimate reading extendeds, right? All the extendeds are going to be with the sexual tarot magic deck cards. But your guys' energy just went straight to the chase. It was just like, I couldn't even do an intro. Um... This is about love and emotions and, you know, the intimacy that comes later in the extended. And in order for us to get there, that's the point, is that in order for us to get to that love and emotions and that intimacy and this greatness in a connection, that shit needs to be cleared out. So I get it why they're just like cutting straight to the chase of forgiving and learning, letting go, releasing, create space. Someone here may possibly be still thinking about something that have, that's happened to them. My beginning flashbacks, they may be, could be PTSD. It could just be running through your mind constantly. It's time to let go, Spirit is saying. Because this is how good things are going to come to you. It's, it's almost like a block. Seven of Swords. See, there was a lot of deception, theft. People trying to get away with some shit. People being slick. People being real fucking sly and conniving. Right, so there is this sense of yes, something major here could have happened, but at the same time, it's like it's over. The tower, see, the tower is like divine intervention. The tower is like destroying everything to create new. The tower is also what you don't see coming. It could be a sudden ending as well as a sudden new beginning. Tower could also be a relationship breakup, right? Like a like a a divorce, even for some. Here you have Kang Dangalang on the bottom of the deck, honey. King of Wands, this is Aries Leo Sag. We are doing Sagittarius reading, so this could be a Sagittarius male, but it doesn't have to be. This could be you being the Sag as a feminine, and this is another sign. But the King of Wands here is someone who is pretty, like, they're very aggressive, and they're a leader, you know, they're like a leader, and like they are... They're like someone who is a go-getter, you know, they're a hustler, but they're also very strategic, right? They're very strategic. They are very, <clears throat> they're very patient. This energy is anyways. So the Eight of Cups is sitting right here. The Eight of Cups is walking away from people, places, and or things. Letting things go, right? This is about saying, whatever the fuck this is, leave it in the past and walk away. Let's do a second spread here. We're going to do a totally different spread. Hold on. Because, hmm. I, you know, it's like us, like I told you, they wanted to cut straight to the chase. They were like, listen, 
if you want love and, and healthy intimacy, you gotta you gotta cut some shit out. You have here the King of Swords. This is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, but this is also someone here who is very emotionally detached. And then you have the Six of Cups. So this is a past life soulmate. So some of you are dealing with an air sign, or you are the air sign, and there's a deep soul connection. And there it is, the lovers. It's extreme physical attraction. This is chemistry. This is two people being magnetically drawn together. There's a pull. There's a draw. This is Gemini energy as well, but there's a pull. Whoa of gravity. Stay the hell away from me. Someone's like, oh no, oh no. The Empress. This could be pregnancy, but this is also birth of a huge cycle. A new abundant cycle. This is a goddess energy as well. Someone here looks at you and they say you are everything. You are like it. You're it. Mm -hmm, the Wheel of Fortune. See, sudden, unexpected change. This is fortune. This is luck. This is destiny and fate. Something huge is about to happen. But this is also about like a sudden change in luck. Someone's luck changes. Page of Cups. This could be friendship. Could be friendship. Maybe you guys are going from friends to lovers. Mm, Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. Getting it all and judgment. Last call. So it's almost as if like the universe could be saying to someone like, do you want to do this? And, and, and seeing that kind of an energy of being left out in the code, putting yourself out there, feeling this way, whatever, whatever. Or do you want to do whatever? Like be in a relationship. Do you want to do this? Focus on the past. Remember we talked about that. It was about focusing on the past. And what you don't have and what you lost and all the things that have happened or do you want to turn around walk away from it and look at what's waiting for you the two of fucking cups and this is why the reading for you guys happened just like this because in your extended reading we are going to use it okay like i said the sexual tarot magic deck cards and we're going to see what's coming from this but you're going to turn around and this is what's waiting there is the two of cups and that's pretty exciting and it's pretty amazing. But healing and forgiveness and letting go has to take place first to create room and space. Um, I want to remind you guys as well that I have my new bracelet that is on, you can pre-order on my website, saltwaterhillstarot.com. It's the Divine Feminine bracelet and it's made with smoky quartz. I also brought back my Mahina Moonstone bracelet, which you can pre-order as well, saltwaterhillstarot.com. This extended you can purchase on my website in the video section. Look for the Zodiac Intimate Extended or click the link below and it'll pull up all of my extendeds and just match up the title, match up the default picture, with the one you're going to purchase okay thank you for your likes your shares and your subscriptions here on youtube um follow me on instagram xi underscore missy underscore xi all right i'll see you guys in your extended sag love you